Hello, everybody. It is Delusion Dispeller, life coach since 2009, and also author of two ebooks uh, one on intermittent fasting and one on narcissistic recovery after abuse. I am so glad to be here today. It is a beautiful day out. It's really, really hot, though, and I don't like heat. But I'm really glad to be here and be healthy and be able to share something with you um, regarding how to not let people abuse you. Um, good information. I've been doing a lot of research on this. Um, also, just a quick update on the whole weight loss thing. I consider these last probably few months to be very experimental. I've been doing keto for a while, and I was doing intermittent fasting also, but I have decided to try something a little bit new. You know I switch diets all the time, but I am losing weight, and I am healthy, so what I'm doing seems to be working for me, slowly but surely. So what I'm doing is, instead of doing keto, trying to disprove the keto theory, that keto is the only way to go and the only way to lose weight, I found this wonderful young girl's um, video on clean eating. So I'm going to try to do some clean eating for a while. Basically, what I need to do is start thinking in twos. All along, I was thinking, well, I'm just going to gorge myself on everything keto I can find, every kind of protein, vegetables, healthy stuff, you know, whatever. This time, I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to think in twos, so like egg whites and vegetables, with chopped up banana on the side and then for like a break food um i guess a treat or whatever or snack i would have fresh fruit and it's going to be totally clean it's going to be no sauces no gravies i'm going to try to go with very little dressing or no dressing on my salads but it's going to be clean eating and i'm going to see if i can lose more weight clean eating than I did on keto, which I didn't lose a whole lot on keto, maybe 14 pounds, I guess. Um, but it took a long time, and apparently this girl lost it in like six months. She lost 100 pounds. So I'm going to do a challenge and see if clean eating works better than keto. Anyway, I told you I was going to bring you something different about how not to get used and abused. So that's what I really wanted to make this video about. And I'm kind of holding my laptop here so it's a little wobbly. Forgive me for that. All right, so let's talk about how not to be abused and used by a narcissist. So why are you such easy prey to a narcissist? What are the things about you, possibly, that make the narcissist pick you out of the crowd and decide to peg you? Well, number one, giving in to people even when your own needs are neglected. Are you somebody that's always bent over backwards for other people, even though you're lacking sleep or you are neglecting things you want to be doing or need to be doing? You're neglecting your children to go help take care of somebody else or somebody else's child to the extent that it's really detrimental to your family. Um, if someone doesn't treat you right, and someone is misusing your time, then you feel like it's your fault. Is this you? Do you blame yourself when someone is upset with you for not being there at their every beck and call? And they make you feel guilty, like they try to make you feel guilty. Nobody really can make you unless you choose to, but they influence you in such a way that you feel like you owe them, like you're compelled to do something for them, even when you know that things are suffering at home. That makes you easy prey to a narcissist. What you need to do is speak up and let people know that you didn't appreciate how they are towards you. And you don't appreciate your time being always monopolized. You can be nice about it. You can say, look, I've got little kids at home that need their mom. And I feel like I want to help you, but I really need to put some, you know, set some limits here. So I'll come over and I'll help you for an hour after work. And then I've got to get home to my own family. And you need to stick to that. Otherwise, you will be used and abused. And I'm not saying everybody that does it is a narcissist, but narcissists are notorious for looking for people that do that kind of stuff, that put their own needs on hold or totally forget them and neglect them in favor of serving them. And that's all for that. Um, are you approval driven? Do you constantly want people to think you're wonderful or approve of what you do? Newsflash, everybody is not going to do that. 
You need to find your worth and your value inside of yourself. Realize that you can never please everyone and you are the only one whose opinion matters. I used to tell my children, um, somebody would make fun of them or put them down at school and I'd say, well, what are they saying about you? Well, they're saying I'm ugly. Well, do you think you're ugly? Well, no. Okay, so what you're telling me is their opinion of you matters more to you than your opinion of you or God's opinion of you? And they got it eventually. After a while of telling them that, they stopped doing that. And they realized that the other person was the one with the problem and that not everybody is going to like them or be in favor of what they do. So realize that. Um, so find your worth and value inside yourself. Realize that you can never please everyone and you're the only one whose opinion matters above anybody else's opinion. There's another one, number three. Thinking everyone is right and you are always wrong. This makes people take advantage of you and blame you because they know that you'll willingly accept it. You're not going to fight for your right to be right because you think everybody else is right all the time and you probably don't even have a clue. But maybe you do have a clue. Maybe this time you're right. Take a chance of saying what you feel. It's okay because sometimes they're wrong and sometimes you're wrong and sometimes you're both right or one or the other of you is right. You don't know unless you blurt out and say... This is what I think. Hey, this is my opinion. But make sure you're doing it with a safe person, too, because you don't want it to turn on you and backfire. All right. By the way, this makes people take advantage of you all the time. Like I said, if you constantly say, oh, well, you're, you're right. You know, I'm wrong. You're right. And you mean that. Then they're going to think, oh, good. I got this one wrapped around my little finger. No matter what I say. She's going to go along with me and not going to have a backbone or an opinion of her own. That's perfect prey for a narcissist and an abuser. All right, next. Um, oh, and another thing. Learn to stand up for your own beliefs and for your own desires. Sometimes you might have a point, but you're not going to know it unless you give yourself a voice and say what you feel. All right, bragging. Do you tend to over-exaggerate things because you are just really wanting people to, you know, praise you and rejoice with you in your victories? Well, realize this, and I learned this a long time ago. Not everybody is going to be in your cheering team. Not everyone is in favor of everything you do. There's going to be many people that oppose what you do, and they're going to tell you about it, especially if you're online. I run into this all the time. People that badmouth me or say, you know, you're dumb and that doesn't make any sense or your videos are too slow or whatever. You know, accept the criticism, change what you can, but realize you're still a good person, no matter what anybody thinks of you. That's how you do that. Um, so don't expect the cheering section from everybody. You need to find the worth within yourself. You need to know that what you're doing is something you believe in. And if you believe in it, then nobody can tell you anything other than than what you believe inside your heart. That you're right, that you're doing what you love, that you're helping people, that whatever you're doing is exactly where you need to be and what you need to be doing at that moment. So don't look for your worth in others. Look for it inside your own self goals. Fear of being rejected, that's another one. Oh, that's a big one too for many people. Pretending that you're fine when you're not. Let's talk more about this. I need to move a little bit. There's some mosquitoes out here. <sighs> Acting like things are okay when they aren't. It's okay to say, you know what? No, I'm not having a really good moment at this time. And I'm really struggling. So pray for me or remember me in your thoughts or whatever. But don't sit there and act like everything's okay. Oh yeah, everything's great. Everything's fine. When it's not. But remember... Do that with safe people, not just anybody, because a narcissist will take advantage of that. All right. Um, learning to say no to people. Do you have trouble saying no to people? Do you find yourself constantly going along with things that you really would rather not? Letting people ignore what matters to you and accepting people's decisions about, their li about your life in their way. So making, letting people tell you how you should act, what you should do, where you should go, what job you should take, who you should be with. Easy prey to a narcissist because that's exactly what they want to do to you. So you need to say no. No, I don't agree with that. No, I don't believe that way. No, that's, that's not right. That's not what I said. 
And do that from the beginning before you hook up with the person and get stuck with them. Definitely. So go for what you want and realize that people may not go along with your plans. And if the person is really being forceful and controlling, then that person needs to be cut out of your life completely. This is going on 10 minutes, so I'm going to go for now, and I will be right back with the next part of this video. See you there.